the 4% rule versus dividend investing? The answer is when you're doing dividend investing, the conventional way that people talk about it is fairly simple. It's me buying into a company or investing into a company in hopes that I get paid dividends for the long term. Because remember, right, the FIRE movement is about basically financial freedom, retiring early, all this stuff, right? But it's about basically, hey, you're going to retire early. You're going to be alive for a very long time. So you want to make sure you have this income coming in all the time. But when you do dividend investing, you got to remember, right, you're investing into an individual company, hoping this company stays alive long enough that you're actually going to be able to live off this dividends while you're trying to basically retire. Now, let's say you're doing dividend investing and you have, for example, 100K actually invested, for example, in Apple. Now let's say, hey, Apple the company goes bankrupt. That's possible. What happens then is basically your money is gone. However, if you use the 4% rule in conjunction, for example, with an index portfolio, an index fund portfolio, what it means is basically, hey, if I take out 4%, there is a very small chance I'm going to run out of money. So I love, love, love the 4% rule because even for example, during the craziest market downturns, it's basically the depression in my last 25 years. In reality, you shouldn't run out of money for at least 25 years. That's why I love, love, love the 4% rule. And by the way, for everyone that does not understand the 4% rule, the 4% rule just means basically whatever amount of money you have in your portfolio, you're just going to withdraw 4%. Because if you're making 10% and only take out, for example, 4%, that means your money is going to keep growing, but you're still taking money out. So the goal is never to run out of money. That's the big thing for the FIRE movement. And remember, the FIRE movement is important, but you never want to stop investing also. You never also want to stop working, right? Because you want to keep increasing, increasing, increasing your margin of safety. <laughs> You've got to stop.